Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you feeling today? I hope you will be enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is an English for grade 4. We are learning unit number 11. Lend a helping hand. Yes my dear fellow teachers this is lesson plan, powerpoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You will click it, download it or you can amend it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Our today's lecture, lecture number 8, today we will learn about story writing, how we have to write story my dear students. So before in English for grade 3, you have already learned about story writing and its elements. I hope you remember this lecture, if you may not, you can watch this video lecture again. Yes my dear students, so what our uh, students learning outcomes today, write a short passage, any dot fable etc for player and creativity identify the elements of a story plot beginning middle and end of a story with conflict and resolution human animal imaginary imaginary characters and their roles setting write a guided story using the elements of story writing Okay, so today we are going to cover up these SOs, my dear students. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Quran, Surah al anbiya verse number 57. By Allah, I shall certainly carry out my plan against your gods after you are gone. Yes, my dear fellow teachers. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing there? Yes, in Surah al anbiya that those who does, did not have belief on Almighty Allah and they worship idols. They made these idols of stones by their own hands and then they say us, say them God. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing that, warning that when you will go out of anywhere by any task, so what I will do, I will carry out my plan that what I have thought and what I will do. So then you will see how you are God, how you are that stone that you have made by themselves. So how they can take care of themselves. Even they are not able to move, even they are not able to secure themselves, how they can fulfill the, your needs. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was warning them and giving them clue that they must believe on Almighty Allah. So the, how he is Rahman and Rahim, you can judge my dear students, that he gave many ways that they should be on the right path. Yes, pre-reading questions are there. What is difference between feeble and anecdote? So, Pause the video and think about these answers and give to your teacher. Excellent job and I hope you have discussed and you have given answer my dear students. So what is a feeble? Feeble is an imaginary and fun story. Imaginary story means that we imagine. Few stories are real, they are realistic depends on reality and few stories are there also my dear students that we imagine in our mind. So feeble is an imaginary story. Feebles are written for a purpose to teach a specific lesson or moral. Anecdote is a short narrative story. So a feeble, a story, this is also type of story, both are types of stories but these stories have a lesson. At the end, we get a lesson that we, how we have to spend our life. So, such type of stories, specific lesson they give us. So, an anecdote is a short story, narrative story. Narrative means that we tell something about any other people. My dear students, this is called narrative. So, you can judge there also. And anecdote is a short story or account about a person or event that is typically amusing, informative or entertaining. Yes, so what is an anecdote? 
anecdote is a short story that is account account means you can say that it is a narrative story it narrates it tells about a person and what is its like uh, what is its purpose its typically its purpose is to amusing informative give information amusing we can enjoy such type of stories entertaining and it is good for spending time that we can read stories but we should read these stories my dear students though should be helpful in our life also so be careful while choosing stories scary stories you should not read otherwise you will be terrified okay so elements of a story see there so, so number one is beginning the beginning tells that who are the characters what is this setting so this is the beginning and it tells us about characters and character can be animal words persons and imaginary like aspect and imaginary figure can be character that is the main role model of a story so next is middle the middle tells us that what happens to the characters so middle tells us that what happens to the characters so first is beginning and in character and middle tells us what happens to the character and the next is end the end of the story tells us that how are the characters different at the end of the story from how they were at the beginning yes and always tell you can judge my dear students in any story that what was the beginning and when there was end and which situation was being faced in the middle and after then at the end how was the situation so this end tells us about character who faced a lot of situations during the story and these all are parts of plot beginning middle end plot the plot consists of the events that happen in the story that all events which are all events beginning middle and these three parts are parts of a plot okay so these tells us events and sequence of these events how it happens how it was in beginning in middle and at the end and always my dear students end will be with a resolution that problem will be solved at the end in any story so next is conflict every story must have a conflict so what is a conflict you can see that a challenge or a problem around which the plot is based yes my dear fellow teachers and my dear students what is the conflict so conflict is that that is a challenge or a problem so every story has a challenge whenever you are reading even when you are watching watching any video suppose that is any cartoon video you can mostly students use to see these cartoons so even that is a cartoon video so you can judge that every that main character has to face some challenges and problems so that is called conflict so those problems and challenges are called conflict and those are based on plot so next is resolution the resolution is at the end of the story it is when when you learn what happens to the characters after the conflict is resolved yes my dear fellow teachers and my dear students this is sequence in story so what is resolution resolution is at the end of the story when we see that how character face this a lot of situations in the story but at the end after all finally he resolved our problems so this is called resolution means solution of all problems yes characters so what are characters characters are the people animals are things that take part in the story so what are characters 
in a story characters i already discussed my dear students and my dear fellow teachers can be people characters can be animals it can be a story can be on birds about birds about anything else that is taking place in the story so these are called characters and it doesn't matter that one character is there there are many characters but role model is always one character okay setting setting is where and when the story takes place yes my dear fellow teachers and my dear students setting means where where mean place which at which place story takes place so that is where and when it is telling us about time yes you are right my dear students it's telling us time and it's telling us place this all two things ka are called setting of the story okay have you got that now so you can see there there i have also searched a story for you my dear students and i think you can guess about this image yes the lion and the mouse this is a story so let's see once a lion was sleeping in a jungle under a shady tree a mouse lived in a hole nearby the mouse came out of its hole and began to move up and down on the body of the lion yes my dear students so i am teaching you a story and try to get how we are. while teaching and while reading a story you must read in this way that it looks like you are in the story you are part of in the other uh, story okay so i am reading and you will read in this way okay so your annotations your pitch of sound must be like that you are a main part of the story and you are giving and you are performing all characters the lion woke up from his sleep he grew angry and caught the mouse to kill it the mouse prayed for his life and said please spare my life i will pay back your kindness the lion set the mouse free yes my dear student so what happened as the mouse was jumping on the body of the lion so the lion woke up and he became angry so and he was near to kill the mouse but what the mouse did the mouse pleaded that please please leave me any day i'll help you so on the request of mouse what he did the lion set him free okay so see that when we are requesting when we are pleading something so definitely so other people also take pity and they take mercy so keep remember that next what happened let's see once the lion was caught in a net he began to roar the little mouse heard his roar and came there he saw the lion in the net he cut the strings of the net with his sharp teeth yeah my dear student so now see on that day lion set him free he did not kill the mouse and now after few days what happened with lion he caught in a net so he was helpless he could not move he could not be able to move so mouse came and it caught the net with its sharp teeth and he set the lion free look my dear students so it means kindness never goes waste keep this thing in your mind if you will help anyone today so tomorrow on any other day there will be anyone that will help you okay this is reward and this is the chain no need to that that if i am helping that one so he must help me no allah almighty will pay from an any other side okay my dear students so you can judge in this story also the lion was free he thanks the little mouse for timely help yes look how now they are sitting together 
So this is this is the actual reward, my my dear students and my dear teachers. This is the actual re reward of kindness. So my dear teachers, you must give lecture, give lecture on manners, on kindness, on politeness in your class every day. Give just five minutes, okay? Because these things change students' life, okay? Okay. Next, see that. So let's perform an activity in your class. So be ready for activity. Call students one by one in front of class. Let them share their favorite story with their classmates. Encourage students to perform confidently and also share their favorite character. Yes, you will call students in front of class near the board and students will share their favorite story because everyone has their own favorite things. So definitely stories will be different so let's see how students will share their favorite stories pause the video my dear teachers and get this activity in your class welcome back and i hope you have enjoyed and now you're relaxed okay good job open your book now question number 10 is there you know the story of the grasshopper and the ant now look at the given pictures and write the story yes my dear fellow teachers first of all you will discuss discuss this story according to the pictures with your students orally okay after di discussion get all that story in their notebooks i'm waiting for you pause the video and do this assessment in your notebook welcome back and you have done it nicely i hope good job so what's our homework today write your favorite story in your notebook yes my dear students that story in activity you shared with your class so that story you will write in your notebook and this is worksheet my dear fellow teachers and this worksheet is for you you will give it to students and let's see how they now they are able to write a nice story so you will judge that their performance so what we have covered today today we learned about story writing we also learned about the all elements of a story that are important to set a story and in this way we have covered up our slows write a short passage anecdote Fable ETC for player and creativity. Identify the elements of a story, plot, beginning, middle, and end of a story with conflict and resolution, human, animal, imaginary characters, and their roles. Setting. Write a guided story using the elements of a story writing. Yes, my dear fellow teachers and my dear students, I hope today you have enjoyed because today was our story lecture and we also discussed story elements, all these things. So, hope so you have enjoyed and tomorrow with a new lecture. See you soon, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.